In this video, I'm going to reveal five secrets the insurance company doesn't want you to know about your worker's compensation claim. Hi, I'm attorney Gary Martin Hayes. Here's secret number one. You have 30 days in which to report your on-the-job injury. Now, sometimes an employee gets hurt at work, but they assume it's just going to be a minor injury and they'll get better. But after a couple of days, the pain worsens, so they report the incident to their supervisor. Some employers will tell you, too late, so sorry, you didn't report the injury the day it happened, so we're not going to provide workers' compensation benefits to you. This is not the law. You have 30 days in which to report your injury. Now, the better practice is to notify your supervisor immediately. All right, secret number two. Your employer is required to post a list of doctors from which you get to choose the doctor that you would like to provide treatment to you. The panel must have six doctors listed on it, and one of the six doctors has to be an orthopedic surgeon, and no more than two of the six can be industrial clinics. And if your employer did not post a panel or the panel was not valid, you should be able to choose the doctor that you want to treat you and the insurance company has to pay for it. All right, secret number three. If you're receiving workers' compensation checks because you've been disabled from working, then you may be entitled to see a doctor of your choice for an independent medical examination and the insurance company has to pay for this appointment. But you have 120 days from the last time you received workers' comp wage benefits to request the exam. So please do not delay in discussing this option with an attorney. All right, secret number four. Did you know that you're entitled to be reimbursed for your mileage to and from your medical appointments? This includes not just the mileage to your doctor's appointments, but also mileage to therapy to pick up your prescriptions and parking fees. All right, secret number five. Do you really know how much the employer and the insurance company are supposed to pay you in weekly wage checks? Well, most people don't, but by law, you're entitled to two-thirds of your average weekly wage. But the most the insurance company is obligated to pay you right now is only $525 per week. It doesn't matter if you were making $1,500 per week. The most the insurance company has to pay you is $525 per week. Well, do insurance companies always pay the correct amount? No, they do not. And if they are paying you less than the maximum amount of $525 per week, they are required by law to file a form that lets you know how they calculated the amount of your weekly check. And there's so many other secrets the insurance company doesn't want you to know about your workers' compensation claim. The best advice I can give you is to call us right now to learn about all of your rights as well as the insurance company's responsibilities.